man that is in honour and understandeth not is like the beasts that perish. This is the emphatic final statement at the end of Psalm 49. The Psalm's main message is that all men and women go to the grave and without understanding God's message of salvation, there's no hope of life beyond it. The psalmist begins his psalm with an appeal to all to take notice of his message because it is of vital importance. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor, together. And so then he goes on to say that all men and women are mortal, all will die, yet so many people will not face up to this fact. The majority of men and women push out any thoughts of their mortality out of their minds, and they live life as if it will never end. In the rich Western world, money can buy just about anything, but death cannot be evaded. Not even the super rich can pay it off. No one can give God a ransom for his life. Man cannot buy salvation. He cannot save anyone else either. For the psalmist says, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever. That he should still live forever and not see corruption. Thankfully, elsewhere in Scripture, we learn that there is, in fact, one special man, the Redeemer, even the Lord Jesus, who is the Saviour of those who have faith in him and in his sacrifice. We can have life beyond the grave through the precious blood of Christ. The psalmist says in his psalm, that even through our own experience, as we look around us, we can see that men and women die. And it doesn't matter whether they are intelligent or whether they're foolish, whether they're wise, whether they're rich or poor. It makes no difference. All, all go to the grave, just like the animals around us. Even the most highly esteemed of men and women go to the grave. And so he says, man being in honour abideth not, he is like the beasts that perish. There is a sad futility in trusting in wealth, yet men and women do it. The super rich often name their grand houses and estates after themselves, but at death, their wealth goes to another. And in due course, for the vast, vast majority of men and women, three or four generations after their death, they're totally forgotten. But the psalmist does say that whilst most are like sheep, like a flock that are all going towards the grave, there are others who have an understanding of God who will have life, even immortality. And so he says, like sheep that are laid in the grave, these are those who have no understanding or interest in God. Yes, they like sheep are laid in the grave and death shall feed on them. And the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. Their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. Yes, the upright in the morning will have dominion. And so the psalmist alludes to the day of the resurrection at Christ's second coming, when the faithful, as the meek, shall inherit the earth. And the psalmist goes on to express his own personal hope. God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. So many die, just like the beasts that perish, but not so those like the psalmist who have an understanding. Even in this hard-hitting last verse of Psalm 49, which seems so negative, there is 
adore their opportunity. Man that is in honour and understandeth not is like the beasts that perish. And it's that little phrase there, and understandeth not, that is so important for us to now focus on. You see, if we understand, if we understand the gospel and embrace it and rejoice in being a follower of the Lord Jesus, then there is hope in this life and hope of immortality and life in his kingdom to come. It's all a question of our understanding. We don't have to perish as so many around us do. We can, even if we go to the grave, be raised from the grave to be given life anew in Christ's wonderful kingdom that will soon be established upon the earth. So let us continue to gain greater understanding of God and of the Lord Jesus by reading the scriptures daily, that we may have a faith that will be rewarded. Mm -hmm.